Welcome everyone, Houston Math Prep here to go over one of our substitution methods for first order differential equations. When we have a first order equation, probably the two simplest way to solve that equation would be if it was linear or if it was separable. One of the next things we might go to as a plan B would be some sort of a substitution method. And we have two substitution methods that are most common with first order equations. One type of equation is called a homogeneous equation, which will be one type of substitution. The other is called a Bernoulli equation. That will be a different type of substitution. In this video, we're going to talk about the homogeneous first order equations and give you an idea of how to work those. We'll just mention real quickly before we start that homogeneous equations that are first order. Homogeneous term means something a bit different than it's going to mean later on when we have differential equations that are higher than first order. So homogeneous is a particular type of first order equation in this video that we're talking about that uses a substitution method. So for a homogeneous first order equation, if we can write the equation as dy dx equals some function of x and y, so all of the x, y terms are on the right side there, just dy dx equals, writing it explicitly. And we can show it's true that f of x, y is the same as f of tx, ty. So this is actually our test for a first order equation being homogeneous. And it says if I plug in tx everywhere there's an x in my function here, and I plug in ty everywhere there's a y in my function here, if I'm able to simplify that and get the same statement that I started with, then we will say that this equation is homogeneous, and we will use the substitution y equals v times x, where v is also some function of x. We make this substitution. And if I were taking the derivative of both sides, then I actually need to use the product rule. So we would know that dy is equal to v dx plus x dv. So we get these substitutions. You'll notice that we're changing our y's into v's and x's. So we won't have y's anymore in the equation when we make this substitution. When we make this substitution, the goal of this substitution is actually to turn the equation into a separable equation and it will do that if the equation is homogeneous. We'll go ahead and work out one simple introductory example in this video. We also have an additional video with several examples of homogeneous first order equations. You can check that out after this if you'd like to see more. So we have dy dx is equal to x over y plus y over x. So the first thing I want to do is make sure is this homogeneous. And the way we do that is remember we check to see is f of x, y equal to f of tx comma ty. So if we go ahead and plug in tx for x and ty for y, then we would get f of tx ty is equal to tx over ty plus ty over tx. Now in each of these fractions, I think you can see that the t's will reduce. And so once we simplify this, we do indeed get the original thing we started with, x over y plus y over x. So this is homogeneous. And we'll go ahead and use our substitutions. So remember our substitution was y equals v times x. And this was a product rule. So remember our additional substitution we needed was that dy was equal to v dx plus x dv. So we'll go ahead and take that and substitute it in over here. And remember, the goal is to get a separable equation. So our dy on the top here becomes v dx plus x dv all over dx equals, now remember we're changing the y's into vx's, but the x's will stay the same. So we get x over vx plus vx over x. We'll do some reducing here, right? I think you can see our x's will reduce here. And so we'll get v dx plus x dv over dx is equal to 1 over v plus v. Now what we'll need to do is separate our variables. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply my dx to the other side. So we'll say v dx plus x dv is equal to this quantity 1 over v plus v dx. 
So I think what we'll need to do is get all of our dx terms on one side, get our dv terms on the other side. Uh, that would just mean I need to subtract vdx from both sides to get this over there. Now you'll notice what happens, right? If I subtract vdx over here, I'm also getting rid of this vdx as well over here. So this would actually become x dv is equal to just 1 over v dx once I subtract vdx from both sides. If I go ahead and multiply both sides by v and divide both sides by x, then we get v dv is equal to 1 over x dx. And so we'll make a statement here that this is separated at this point. And once we have our variables separated, we can simply integrate both sides as we would with a separable equation. So the antiderivative of v dv is going to be 1 half v squared, technically plus c, I'll save that for the other side. Antiderivative of 1 over x dx would be ln of x. We'll put our constant of integration on the right side here. So now I have 1 half v squared equals ln of x plus c. Let's go ahead and get rid of the 2. So we'll say that v squared is equal, multiplying by 2 would give us 2 ln of x plus, we could technically say 2 times c, let's just call it another c instead. So remember our original substitution was that y is equal to v times x. So what is v? Because I want to get back in terms of y and x. Well, v would just be y over x, wouldn't it? So let's go ahead and replace our v now that we've integrated. So we'll go ahead and call this y squared over x squared, right, would be v squared is equal to 2 ln of x plus c. And now I think I should multiply by x squared on both sides, right? So y squared is equal to 2x squared ln absolute value x plus our constant times x squared. And we could of course go ahead and square root both sides if we want. So we could say y is equal to positive or negative square root of 2x squared ln of x plus our cx squared term. And additionally, if we had some initial condition, if the y value was positive in that condition, we would use the positive root. And if y was negative in that condition, we would use the negative root. We would choose whichever of these we need to satisfy the condition that we have. So remember the idea, first check and see if it's homogeneous. Once we know it's homogeneous, we can make this y equals vx substitution. Remember that will also tell us that dy is equal v dx plus x dv. Once we make those substitutions, we will separate the variables and then we will solve the rest as a separable equation. Once we've integrated, we go ahead and sub our y's and x's back in for v and we can solve for y. Okay, we've got some extra examples coming up in our examples video for homogeneous first order equations. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you then.